Hello there. Hi, my name is Nelson Dellis. I'm a four-time USA memory champ. And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to memorize all 46 US presidents in order. That's right, in order. From start to finish, to the oldest, to the newest. And we're gonna accomplish this by using a technique called the story method, which basically takes all the president names that we have, turns them into funny, weird pictures, and then weaves them into an interesting, memorable story. Turns out we remember that kind of stuff a lot better than the dry, boring names that those presidents had or have. I'm gonna try and make this as quick and painless as possible. I want you guys to have all of these presidents in your noggin as fast as possible. So let's get started. Now, before we dive into this, uh, all I need you to do this first time through is just listen and see the story that I'm about to describe to you. It's just a story. You're just listening. You're enjoying. You're thinking about it. But you're secretly memorizing it. So don't do anything, just listen and watch. And afterwards we'll go through what meant what, which images represented which presidents, and you'll be amazed with yourself. All right, so we start with a washing machine. There's a washing machine that's gonna be filled with a ton of bright green Granny Smith apples. Next up, a chef comes over, opens up the door, and as he's doing that, his chef attire turns into maid attire. So he turns from a chef into a maid. Kind of weird, but hey, that's his wardrobe change and that's what he wants to do. He opens up the door, tons of apples and tons of water come flying out and he gets carried away down kind of the street, but it's a river of water and a man rowing picks him up and saves him from drowning. Now this boat is sailing down the street and they notice that if they squint off into the distance, they actually can see a dam. There's a dam ahead, a big one that they squint at. And as they squint and see this dam, they see on top of it that a jackhammer is being jackhammered Jackhammered? Jackhammered into the top of that dam. Sort of starting to make a crack appear down the face of the dam. Now as the chef and the guy rowing the boat kind of get closer to the dam, a van that's on fire, a van that's burning, flies out of nowhere and just crash splashes, curse splashes into the river slash lake, whatever they're in, right next to them. Who's the driver? As weird as it can get, a hairy son. It's a son with some facial hair. He's a hairy son. And he says, get in, get in the van. Or obviously the boat wasn't enough. They gotta get in this van and kind of uh, seek shelter there because that, that dam is gonna blow. Upon further inspection, you notice that this hairy son is wearing a cool necktie. Usually you wouldn't notice that, but it's the coolest necktie you've ever seen. So you notice it, he's wearing a necktie. Now, as you get in the van, with this hairy son with the necktie, you look back at the dam and you notice that that crack is getting bigger and bigger. And poking out of part of the hole that you see developing is a tail, like a dog's tail, kind of poking out and it's a tail just wagging there. Kind of freaks you out, you realize there's a dog trapped inside of there and you dive off, try to climb up the dam to pull it out to save it, to rescue it before the whole thing comes apart. Now, as you're doing this, you notice that there is someone filming on the riverbanks at this whole heroic deed that you're doing. So there's a filmer, let's call him a filmer because he's filming. That's what a filmer does, right? He films. Now, as this is all unfolding, you rescue the dog, get back to the van safely, and as predicted, the dam explodes and a piece actually pierces a cannon that is off to the side. The cannon lights and boom, shoots out a bunch of books. It's a book cannon. If we follow where that book lands, it lands next to this guy who's sitting on a john, and it is one of our most well-known presidents. It is President Lincoln. He doesn't need his own picture because he's as easy to memorize as, as, as pie. So the book lands next to President Lincoln, who's sitting on the john. As he's sitting on the john, a genie kind of appears out of nowhere. This, this story is making no sense. So the genie comes out and says, I will grant you some wishes. So he wishes for three things. Usually you get granted three wishes. The first is a haystack. Second wish was for Garfield the cat dressed like King Arthur. And lastly was LeBron James. He's a huge LeBron James fan. He wants to meet him in the flesh. So boom, that's the third wish. 
Now, just at that moment, the hairy son that was driving the van suddenly shows up out of nowhere. I guess he ditched the van and came ashore. And he's a huge LeBron James fan as well. So he jumps at him and gives him a massive hug. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Mickey Mouse, dressed as a king, wearing a rose-covered belt, comes out of nowhere and joins the party. Now, this collection of weird characters need to get a move on. The dam has just exploded, water is rising. So they build a raft to kind of float away. And they notice that on this raft, there's actually a bucket filled with Wilson tennis balls. I don't know. As they start heading down the river on this raft, there's kind of this cool montage soundtrack of hard rock being played as they kind of jet set down the river safely on their raft. As they go down this waterway, this raft is decked out. It's got music blasting. There's actually a fan blowing cool air to everybody on the raft. And there's even a vacuum or a hoover as the British like to say. So if people want to clean up after their mess, they can do so. As they approach the shore, they get stuck in some kind of overgrown set of rose branches with thorns. And next to it is just a man there who's telling the truth. He is a truth man. All he does is tell the truth. And even weirder still about this guy, he takes out his eyeballs and he puts them in a shower nearby. He's got to wash his eyes. He sees the truth, so I guess his eyes have to be super clean. So we've got eyes in the shower. As those eyeballs are taking a shower, we suddenly see a space rocket launch into space and then land in a pile of PB&J sandwiches with lemons all around it. It's caused a great mess, so the only way to clean it up is with a big pair of knickers. So the whole crew grab a bunch of knickers. I don't know where they got them from. Knickers are underwear, okay? and uh, they use it to kind of pat dry all that peanut butter and, and lemon juice and whatever to clean it up. On the riverbank, they find a Ford car kind of decked out with a ray gun on the top and they all get in the car and start driving down the riverbank. They're driving crazy, they run into a bush, then they run into a massive piece of lint, then they run into another bush, as one does. As they're speeding down through all that stuff, they finally see the last obstacle, which is a bomb. It's got the fuse, it's counting down, it's gonna explode, it's a bomb. So they swerve out of the way, dive out of the car, and as they do that, there are trumpets just blaring, as if to celebrate that they just avoided death and that now they are safe. And then lastly, they all start biting each other. I know that's weird, that whole story is super weird and super ridiculous, but I guarantee you if you go back through that maybe one or two more times, you will have that story and those key components to it in your head. And if you have that in your head, then you have all the presidents. How? Let me show you. The washing machine with a ton of things in it was Washington. The Granny Smith apples was Adams because Adams apples. The chef was Jefferson, Jefferson. The maid costume was Madison, Madison. So some of these are a bit of a stretch, but that doesn't matter. It's just a small cue to help you get the name of the president. They don't have to be perfect. He gets in the boat, right, with the man rowing. That's Monroe, Monroe. Then they squint at a dam. That's to help you remember Quincy. Adams, the jackhammer, that's Jackson. Then the Van Burning, Van Burning is Van Buren. Then the driver is a hairy son, that's Harrison, who's wearing a necktie or a tie, that's Tyler. Inside the dam, there's something poking out, that's Polk. It's a tail, that's Taylor. There's a filmer filming the whole thing. Filmer is Phil Moore. The whole dam explodes and pierces a cannon that shoots books. So you have Pierce and that book cannon, Buchanan. Lincoln, Lincoln is Lincoln, and he's sitting on the John, that's Johnson. The genie grants him some wishes, Grant is the next one, and he wishes for a haystack, that's Hayes. Garfield, that's Garfield. Dressed like King Arthur, so that's just Arthur. Then you have LeBron, who is basically Cleveland. The Harry son comes back, that's another Harrison, and he hugs LeBron, so another Cleveland. Next, Mickey Mouse comes out dressed as a king, McKinley, McKinley. He's also wearing a rose-covered belt, that's Roosevelt, Roosevelt. They all get on a raft, raft, taft. On the raft, there's a bucket filled with Wilson tennis balls, it's Wilson. That hard rock music is playing, that's Harding. There's a fan blowing cool air, that's Coolidge. And a vacuum, or Hoover, President Hoover. They get to the shore and there's an overgrown rose thorn bush thing, so that's another rose, Roosevelt. And who's standing there? It's a truth 
man or true man. He takes his eyes out and gives him a shower. That's eyes in shower, eyes in hour. That was so ridiculous. He sees with his eyes a space rocket. Space rocket should remind you of JFK since he took us to the moon and it lands in a bunch of PB and J's with lemons. So it's really PBJ with an L, so LBJ. Lyndon B. Johnson. Everybody starts cleaning stuff up with some oversized knickers. Knickers is to help you remember Nixon. Then they get in a Ford car. So that's Ford and Carter. And on top of it is a ray gun, Reagan. They start driving, they hit a bush. That's bush. They run through a massive piece of lint, Clinton. <laughs> then they go through another bush. That's Bush Jr., W. And then they approach a bomb, that's Obama. And then the trumpets play, that's Trump. And then finally, everybody's biting everyone, that's Biden. Was that, was that hard? Was that, how, how, how much time was that? I know I talk a mile a minute, I know that was really weird, but that is how our brains like to memorize things. It's a lot easier, it's a lot more friendly, and you'd be surprised what you remember if you just go through that story. And now you have all 46 presidents in your noggin. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like that kind of content, you can find more of this stuff in my recent publication, my recent book called Memory Superpowers. It's designed for kids and it's got stuff like that, how to learn the presidents, how to learn the periodic table, how to learn your times tables, how to learn foreign language, how to learn, yeah, everything. Everything's in there. All the illustrations done in the book are done by the same person who illustrated the cool, cute, pictures in this video and that is Stephanie Stillwell. Please check out our website. I've linked it in the description. She does awesome designs, awesome illustrations. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next video. I am out.